recipe for you today. Uh, banana, maple and cinnamon chips. And it's simply that, bananas, maple syrup and cinnamon. And today I'm gonna be using the Sedona Express Raw Food Dehydrator, which is my new favorite addition to the kitchen. It is compact in size, but it does not lack in features. So I'm just gonna get started. I've chopped up some banana already. I'm gonna do it lengthways and make sure you do it nice and even to ensure an even drying process, I guess. So we're gonna throw them in there. It can get quite messy. Pour the maple syrup on top, make sure it's real maple syrup and not imitation. Some fresh cinnamon or contained cinnamon, either way. As much as you want. Cinnamon's great for regulating um, any sugar spikes. It's really good for your metabolism as well. And it tastes good, and that's what we like. So I've mixed that all together. Just gonna wipe my hands on my apron. And press release on the glass door at the front. And you have the option of buying either the BPA free trays or the stainless steel trays. So I've got both here on show, just so you know what they look like. And you've got the debris tray on the bottom, which catches anything that may sort of drip or crumb and fall to the bottom. So that really helps with the cleaning process and maintaining it. So I'm gonna use the stainless steel tray simply to pull out and line them across evenly. The Sedona Express has the single fan, um, but the beauty of this machine and one of my favorite features, which enables you just to leave the house with it running, is the TST feature, which is the two-stage sequential temperature timer. And it sounds fancy, but it, all it means is that you set it at a higher temperature and then it automatically, after the time that you've set it up for the higher temperature, goes down to a lower temperature to make sure that we preserve those important enzymes in the food. The beauty of dehydrating as well is that everything comes out so tasty. It really makes things really sweet or really savory. I would, little tip when dehydrating, try not to mix anything like garlic with an apple um, because that garlic flavor, you'll be getting garlic apples, which could be interesting, but let's just keep the sweet with the sweet and the savory with the savory. So pop that in there. I'm gonna close my door and simply just turn it on. And when you want the TST feature to work, make sure that both the fast and the raw mode are lit up. And then you can set your time. So we're gonna do 75 degrees for around three hours and then set it for around 42, 42, 40 degrees for about 10 hours and you're gonna get the tastiest snack that your whole family can enjoy. They won't complain about the sound. And I don't have any that we prepared earlier because we actually all ate them, uh, but we can you and show you that they are tasty. Happy dehydrating.